Okay, we have two derivative equations on the spot. The first one, d2 over dx2 of x to the fifth power plus 7. And the other one, we just have a d and then over d parentheses x squared and then x to the fifth power plus 7. Okay, yes, they have the same function in the parentheses, but this one right here has a 2, and this is just d to the first power like that, right? Hmm, so what do they mean? But anyway, take some time to think about it, try them first. Okay, let's do the first one right here. Okay, this notation, it just means that we are going to differentiate this function twice, so we can get the second derivative, right? And when we see d2 over dx2, it means the following. We are just going to differentiate with respect to x. That's what this notation means. d dx means we will differentiate with respect to x, okay? And we just differentiate, again, d dx of this function, x to the fifth power plus 7. And we work this inside out, of course. And you see, d, d, that's how we get a d square, and then of course we have the dx, dx, that's how we get a dx2, right? So we differentiate this first, look at the result, differentiate it again, that's how we get the second derivative. And let's just finish this. So let me put down d, dx. The derivative of x to the fifth power plus 7 is just 5x to the fourth power plus 0, right? And then we differentiate this again, so we get bring a 4 to the front, multiply by the 5, which is 20, and the minus 1, so it's x to the third power. Do I need to put plus c? No, just kidding, all right? This is the answer. 20x to the third power for the second derivative, okay? Now, what does this mean when we are just having the d, and then there's no number, and then this is dx2 like that? When we have just a d, that means we are going to differentiate with respect to x squared now, okay, especially we do have this parentheses to emphasize, we are going to differentiate this function with respect to x squared. This notation, dx2, it means that we have the dx twice like this, all right, on the bottom. So it's totally different things. We are not just going to differentiate this twice. And this is how we are going to tackle this right here, okay? Well, the easiest way is that we'll just do some substitution. So we can keep track of everything, all right? Substitution what? Of course, x squared, because that's bothering us. So what I will do is, I will say, let another variable, I don't want to use y whatsoever, I want to use t, because usually we say d dx or d dt, right? So t is a good choice for that. And don't say du, because that's usually for substitution, strength for integration. Anyway, let t equal to x square, and this is about to be d dt. You differentiate with respect to t, but the inside here, we will also have to change this into you know, t's, right? We take this derivative equations from the x world into the t world, okay? So what do I need to do? Well, just do the algebra. We can take the square root on both sides, and don't forget you technically put a plus minus, right? So I will say x is equal to plus minus, and this is the same as t, and the square root is the same as one half power. And remember, we use one half power more often in calculus than radical symbols, right? For differentiation and integration purpose. So now, check this out. This is going to be d dt, right? We differentiate with respect to t. And then the function is, instead of x to the fifth power, we will write it down as plus minus t to the one half power and then raised to the fifth power and then plus seven like this. All right? And now let's work out the powers. This is the same as saying d dt and then we have the plus minus to the fifth power it is still plus minus because negative to the fifth power, it can still be negative. But anyway, this is going to be t. 1 half to the, well, t to the 1 half power, and then to the 5th power, we just multiply the powers, so that's 5 over 2, and then plus 7, like this, okay? Okay, now we can just do the usual derivative, namely the power rule, right? We can take this right here, bring to the front, and then minus 1. So, we will have plus minus 
and that will be 5 over 2 and we have t 5 over 2 minus 1 which is the same as minus 2 over 2 that's going to give us positive 3 over 2 and the derivative is 7 it's going to be 0 so this is it at the moment but is this it for the final answer no because we have to get back to the x world this right here is t right so what can we do originally look at the red part t is equal to x squared so i just have to plug in back right so here we have plus minus 5 over 2 t is the x squared and then you raise that to the 3 over 2 power at the end you see that we still have the plus minus we have the 5 over 2 and then of course x to the second power raised to the 3 half power 2 times 3 half the 2's cancel out so we just have x to the third power like that it's kind of similar in terms of the power but no this is how you're supposed to do this and to be honest i'm not sure about if i should keep the plus minus hopefully uh, your teacher give you some like a file useful whatsoever so we can have a better judgment to see if you want to keep the plus minus or not but at the moment this right here is it right and don't call your teacher to it's funny she, she, she's actually not overweight like she looks very fat uh-huh that's her i guess she has lots of muscle or something oh okay everyone vote for me in the battle of oreo versus oreo Versus the real Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's okay. See. And now you can't do that with a cat. <laughs> <laughs>